Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about something kind of fun. I'm going to talk to you about the six unconventional, unusual ways that I save money. And before I get started, I am tagging and doing a, a collab, they don't know it yet, maybe a couple of these channels know it, with four channels. And I'm going to link them below because these are four kind of newer channels that are just getting started and talk about many of the same subjects I do and they're really neat and a lot of fun. All Things Frugal and Fabulous, My Frugal Life, The Radical Riches, Snowflakes and the Snowballs. And I'll put their links below and I'd love if you give their channels a little bit of love and support as well because I've really found them to be wonderful. Okay, let's get started. First thing I do to save money, which I know is unusual, is when my girlfriend and I walk at Super Target the bakery always has cookies out and this is towards the end of the evening when they're going to throw them away they have them in a plastic container okay so i'm not going behind the bakery and grabbing a bunch of cookies even though that is a temptation um, but anyway they have a bunch of them left over so i grab a few and i put them in some plastic and i bring them home for our family because at the end of the night they're going in the garbage so guess what somebody in my household can enjoy them i've gotten a lot of free cookies this way that's another thing i always am looking for free samples because there's so much food waste and food being thrown out so this is really great to be aware number two now this is really weird i did this once for a friend i cleaned and organized her pantry for her well there were so much food and products that she wasn't using guess what i came home with two huge grocery bags of free food that was perfectly good for example she had some microwave popcorn she said you know i just really don't eat this you know i work a lot i'm not at home a lot i'm not using a lot of this food and i don't want it to go bad so if you really want some free food Offer a friend to help clean and organize their pantry because, believe me, there's stuff they're not using that can bless your family. So th I just think everyone could help each other. And number three, get to know your neighbors. I know I'm kind of a crazy neighbor. I have fantastic, wonderful neighbors that I love. And last Thanksgiving, and I know I shared this on another video, I made um, them a homemade apple pie they gave me some homemade tamales. We've shared a lot of food over the years and have done kind things for each other. Getting to know your neighbors is wonderful because you can all help each other. One of my friends, the one I cleaned her pantry, gets along great with her neighbors as well and when her mower broke down they mowed her yard for her. but yet she maybe gave them some uh, I'm trying to think what she gave them she brought some food from work for them so they kind of help each other out number four this is a biggie barter 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 an example of this one of my friends she helped me organize my files and she did a fabulous job well, instead of paying her, what I did is I took her out for some Starbucks, which I got for free for doing surveys, took her out for a movie, which I got for free from doing surveys, and gave her a home facial. Well, actually, she gave it to herself with a product here at home. So that's what I did for her. She loved it, and we help each other out. So bartering. Think about it this way. Each of us have things we're good at. For example, I'm good at talking, sleeping, eating. I'm good at, also, I'm really good with kids. I taught school for several years. I love children. And so I could offer free babysitting. I'm really, I'm not trying to brag, but I am a really good baker and I'm a good cook and I'm good at cleaning. So if any of my friends or any of you need help with any of those things, I could offer that. Maybe one of you is excellent with technical things and you could come over here and do work on my computer. We all have something to offer. Another thing I want to mention with this really quickly is so many people are always buying things. We're such, such heavy consumers. If we all got to know one another better, whether it's your neighbors, your friends, instead of always buying things, we could borrow them possibly or a friend may have it to give. One quick example, I want some of these gloves that you put on you that you know, when you're doing push-ups or you're lifting weights, it kind of cushions your hand a little bit. I was telling a friend about it. She said, Dawn, don't buy them. She said, I have a pair at home I'm not even using. Let me give them to you. So these are just things that you can do for each other. I had an extra yoga mat. I gave that to my friend. We can all do this kind of thing, and it would save us so much money if we all bartered with one another. One last, or actually two other things I do. 
Uh, this one I've already talked about. I dumpster dive. Okay, I know this is kind of crazy, but I do dumpster dive a little bit, and we've gotten so many awesome things. We got a little end table. Um, we've gotten toilet, not toilet seats, but the cover on the toilet, which we collect those because one of ours broke. Hi, we collect toilet coverings. Anyway, but you'd be amazed at some of the cool things that you can get in a dumpster. Coupons, magazines, uh, pieces of furniture that's perfectly good that just needs a little cleaning up. And my final thing I forgot to mention, which is number six, is um, I don't do laundry as often because I use homemade Febreze and spray our clothes to freshen them if they're not dirty, okay, if we don't spill all over ourselves. I use that on there, fresh it, hang it up. That really works really well. Anyway, by the way, I know I'm talking quite long here, so I'm going to wrap this up. Tomorrow I'm going to do Freebie and Frugal Friday. Remember, all these channels I'm going to be linking below, so check them out too and see what they have to offer. I'm almost to 200 subscribers and then a free gift to all of you. I love you all. I hope I didn't go too long, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.